When we purchase something, we're often given a guarantee. Or in the transaction, the company that is selling um, something is saying, your satisfaction is guaranteed, an experience and a, a business. They want you to be satisfied. They want you to be satisfied with the personal experience. They want you to be satisfied with the product that you've purchased. And sometimes that works perfectly. And sometimes when you have to use the guarantee, it doesn't work so perfectly and the results of the guarantee aren't exactly what we thought it might be. I wanna share a story with you from scripture that I taught today in Bible study. And I wish I could guarantee that it worked, but I can't. But I think it's helpful if we understand the principle. The story is found in the 16th chapter of Acts. I'm teaching that today in Bible study. And it's the story of Paul and Silas being imprisoned. And while they were in prison, we we're told that they were praying and praising God through Him singing. And it was that that led to uh, a great earthquake. In other words, a, a, an intervention of God into that imprisonment. All their chains fell off. They were released from prison and it led to them being able, them being able to uh, bring the Philippian jailer into a relationship with Christ. Not only him, his entire family came into that relationship with Christ and they were all baptized. Now, I wish I could guarantee that when we find ourselves in difficult situation like Paul did, a difficult situation like a virus that we don't know when it's gonna end, we don't know which direction it's gonna take next, we don't really know how it affects certain people. But what we do know is it's created a lot of difficult situations with a lot of people. And we would love to see it end. I think what we learn from, from Paul is, is that we can focus on God and not focus on the problem. And maybe I can't guarantee that the problem goes away, but I can say that puts us in a better frame of mind. It puts us in a better frame of mind to deal with the difficulty if we stay focused on God and not focus every minute on the problem. It's easy to focus on the problem today. It's easy to focus on the numbers. It's easy to focus on the depressing stories that we hear, the unfortunate nature of how this uh, pandemic we find ourselves in is playing itself out. But I just want to encourage you, stay focused on the Lord. Do not let your focus wane from your focus on the love and the grace and the mercy of Jesus Christ that manifests itself through the Holy Spirit in our life. If we stay focused on God and not on the problem and pray and praise our way through the day, then I think we're in a better position, we're in a better place, we're in a more encouraging place, we're in a more uplifting place to deal with the situation we find ourselves in than if we just focus all the time on the problem. So I invite you into a season, a day, an hour, a few minutes of prayer and praise today and sing a hymn, sing a contemporary song, but pray and praise the Lord. And I think you'll find yourself in a better place, in a better position to deal with all that's going on around us today. And you'll wake up tomorrow ready to repeat that and live joyfully in Christ, even in the midst of a very difficult situation.